Okay, I'm going to show you how I'm using the HPRS rivet squeezer to put on my nut plates. I've already done the top and bottom of one wing and the top of this spar, so all I have left is the bottom. Um, I'm not able to, since I'm holding the camera with one hand, um, I just use this Clico. Normally I don't use this, I just hold it with my thumb, um, but I'll show you how this works. Basically, um, this is all anodized aluminum and you've got hydraulic pressure in here it comes from this accumulator um, so the way the HPRS works we've got 90 psi coming in there 90 psi air turns into 3500 psi hydraulics this is just the prototype the final version is actually going to have a solenoid operated uh, by this switch here this is just a blanking plate um, so we'll see how this works So once you get it in there, it's, it's just like any squeezer, it's just so much nicer since it weighs very little. And that's it. Um, this weighs about a third of the weight of a normal air rivet squeezer. And it was frankly a joy to do all these, it's very easy, um, didn't take very long to put all those in. So look it up, Cleveland Aircraft Tools is building it under license. The HPRS, I think they're calling it the squeeze box if you buy the whole system. That includes that and this intensifier. There's a lot more to it. You'll have to look it up on their webpage once they get it out and going, but it's a great tool. Look it up.